Welcome back to the workshop for another example on directed graphs. We're going to be considering the same directed graph that we had in the previous example. And first we want to give a directed path from C to B. So a directed path is just a path that follows along the edges. But in this case we can only travel one particular direction along each edge. So for example, I cannot travel from A to E because that edge goes from E to A. Okay, so if I wanted to leave A, the only, the only choice I have is to go from A to B. So for this example, we want to give a directed path from C to D. So I want to travel from C to D. Of course, I can't just travel directly from C to D because that edge does not travel in that direction, or we cannot travel that direction on that edge. This edge can take us from D to C. So we have to go some other way. So I'm going to create a, a little bit longer path, just for kicks and giggles. So let's travel from C to B. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to notice that we can label each of these edges as well. Just to recall that we have the ability to uh, write our paths in a particular way. Excellent. So with this, I can travel C along A to B. So C, A, B. Travel from vertex C to vertex B along the edge A. Uh, then what I'd like to do is I'd like, like to travel along the edge D to the vertex E. Then along the edge G to the vertex A. And then along the edge E from vertex A to vertex B, and then along C to vertex D. Excellent, so that gives us a path from C to D. Excellent. In this case, uh, what I'd also like to point out is that there are multiple representations for paths. So this includes each vertex and each edge. We can also represent this just by the edges. So equivalently, we have A, B, G, E, A, B, G, E, and C. Excellent. Or we could also write this just in terms of the vertices that are visited. So we start at C, then we go to B, then E, A, B, and finally ending at D. So this is a little bit, it's a little bit long, right? Long-winded. Either one of these two options are great. I like this one as a way to represent that this is a path from C to D, and that is clear by the notation used here without including every possible detail. So the length of this path is 5, path is five. Uh, and the length of this path is 5 because it travels 5 edges, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 edges to get from C to D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five. Here, it's maybe not quite so obvious. What you need to recognize is that there's an edge between each vertex. So counting the spaces, or the commas, we have one, two, three, four, five. Excellent. For the next question, we have give the simple directed path contained in the directed path from A. So here we have a directed path, and I made it longer than I needed to, of course. That's because I wanted to have something to give here in part B. So I could have made this much shorter by just traveling from C to B and then B to D. So what we wanted to exhibit here is that every directed path contains a simple directed path. So we want to consider the simple directed path here and we visit B twice. So what we're doing is we're removing D, E, G, A, E and the second visit to B. So C, A, B 
C D, or simply C D D. Okay. There are a lot of different ways that we can represent this. Again, my preference is to use the vertices. So that's my answer there. All right. Next question is, does the directed graph contain a directed cycle? Well, recall here that a cycle is a path which starts and ends at the same place, but also does not visit any vertex more than once. So, yes, yeah, there are actually several cycles in this graph. Uh, if I remember correctly, I was able to find three different cycles. So let's give an example of one. Okay, so I could travel, uh, actually taking a look at the uh, simple path, simple directed path we just looked at in the previous part, we could travel from C to B to D, and then back to C. So the only vertex that's repeated in our representation of the cycle is the vertex C, which is where we started, the initial vertex, and where we ended, the terminal vertex. So this is a cycle. But what I'd like to emphasize also is that if we were to consider this thing and bring ourselves back to C at the beginning, so let's see, if I were to consider C, B, E, A, B, D, C, B, E, A, B, D, we're turning back to C, this is not a cycle. It is not a cycle because we visited the vertex B twice. That's the problem there. This is called a circuit because we have traveled a path that begins and ends at the same place, at the same vertex, uh, but it is not a cycle. A cycle does not allow for vertices to be visited twice. All right. Is the directed graph a strongly connected directed graph? So is the directed graph strongly connected? So for a graph to be strongly connected, we have to be able to travel from any vertex to any other vertex. So to go through the entire thing might be a little bit extensive here, uh, but we'll look at a couple of vertices. So I need to know if I can travel from A to every other vertex. So I can go from A to B. I can go from A to B to D to C. So I can get from A to B and I can get from A to C. I can go from A to B to D. So I can get to D. And then I can go A to B to E to get to all of the vertices. Okay? So I can get from A to B, A to C, A to D, and A to E. So thumbs up there. But I have to do that for every single vertex, and I can't take any of them as given. When I look at B, I can't assume that I can get to A, even though I just found that I could get from A to B. It may not actually be possible to get from B to A, because that same path I can't take, because I could only travel that direction along that edge. So I can, to, from B, I can go down and up to get to A, I can go down and up to get to C, I can go down to get to D, and down to get to E. So B, I can get from B to every other vertex. Now you would have to continue this, check it for C, check it for D, and check it for E, and you would find that this is a strongly connected graph because you can get from any vertex to any other vertex. So we have, yes, this is a strongly connected graph. Strongly connected. Directed graph. Excellent. So that's all for this example. I'll have one more example for the section posted here shortly uh, regarding directed graphs. See you guys back in the workshop soon.